Hi guys, this is Professor Pilar here, and I am continuing with dialogue. Um, actually, I just wanted to show you what I've been working on. So in the last couple of tutorials, I've been working on this animated sequence. And um, in the last tutorial, we blocked in our poses. We blocked in and tweaked our poses and got everything sized correctly. And now I was able to drag through the timeline and um, add keyframes and uh, add our mouth shapes. Um, the reason it's ideal to have a WAV file uh, as opposed to an MP3 when you're working in Adobe Anime is uh, WAV is not com as compressed so it allows you to drag and scrub. In the animation industry we call it scrubbing. So you can scrub and really slow down the uh, the sound, you can listen to the sound one syllable at a time and then you could judge where you put your mouth shapes and your positions. So um, I've been working on it and this is um, what it looks like so far played at regular speed. Does anyone remember how this thing works? Well, I don't, I think. Does anyone remember how this thing works? So what I did was you see each one of these dots here on the timeline is a key frame. There's a little error there. Okay, so the, whatever potato this little guy is holding, it's a potato with a, some kind of a potato thing with a spring coming out of it. So the um, little rectangle on there like disappears. I'll fix that later. But So if you drag, you can see So you see, remember, remember, so I even added, I added some squash and stretch to the head. Um, I had to cheat the beginning a little bit. This is my own attempt at acting. So I, when I said, does anyone remember how this thing works? It's really fast. So I had to sort of, I set it really quickly so i had to sort of cheat in the mouth shapes and just try to make it work as best as you can so mouth open does and there's like the o shape for one the m is for remember so m so whenever you have like a K or a hard K or hard C sound, you get like the teeth coming together. See? So like hard K sound, so teeth. So when the character says well, for the L at the end of well, I show like the tongue touching the top of the teeth. Well, I don't. I added like a little like head shake kind of thing there. I... That's the beauty of working, blocking your poses in first. You could plan this stuff out and then add your mouth shapes as you smooth your animation out. I don't. I think. I think. So I think, I think, I, and then the, th the TH is like the, is the, uh, kind of like the characters are showing like a little bit of teeth. Then I add it like a blink. And then I actually went back after I finished, after I did all of this, I went back and then added like some fun follow through, uh, and overlapping action to the this silly spring sticking off of this potato thing. So there I have it. So if you look at the, and it also, I also wanted to point out the waveform at the top of the timeline. That's your sound and you could even see your syllables. And if you really, if you wanted to drag the slider on the upper right, you see how you could make your frames bigger so you could actually easily see, like you could visualize the syllables as well as here. Remember how this thing works. 
You see how a new word starts? You see how the waveform gets bigger there? See how it's flat when there's when it's quiet and then I think. So for those two words, you see the waveform. You could actually see the syllables. Does anyone remember how this thing works? Well, I don't, I think. Does anyone remember how this thing works? Well, I don't, I think. Yeah, and that's how, that was, I took you through the process of uh, creating uh, a dialogue animation sequence. Um, if I want to, I could actually go in and create a new layer and do some cleanup over top. But I think uh, for now, I, I love working rough, and I think this really illustrates uh, dialogue and um, how effectively it can be used. So thanks for watching, guys. Does anyone remember how this thing works? Well, I don't, I think.